What's good YouTube, it's your boy VaderK Pro Benchwoman. Welcome to another Dual Links discussion video. Today we're going to be talking about consistency and thinking about the question, how consistent is too consistent? Because you guys know KC Cup is around the corner. Around these times, people start thinking about what cards need to be added to the Forbidden and Limited list. And I have a whole nother way of thinking about things that are in those topics. And I wanted to share that with you guys in this video today so if you enjoy content like this hit that like button and subscribe for more of it and let's get right into it so you guys know that the most consistent decks hit king of games all the time they kind of shape the meta if a deck can like get to its game plan and move its cards to where they need to be from within the deck itself within 20 cards yeah it's gonna hit king of games eventually and if it does it consistently yeah it's gonna be a top tier meta deck in our game that's pretty much how it is in the tcg and in duel links that's just how things are but with them these decks being consistent a lot of people start talking about what cards within the deck need to be put on the forbidden and limited list and i'm thinking the deck works like why do we need to nerf every deck that works like why don't we just add cards that make other decks that don't work work like i, I feel like that's how things need to be handled in Duel Links. Now I want to talk about the first really good event in Duel Links in my eyes is the second Super Joey event. The first one was good because it gave us Red Eyes Spirit, but we really didn't have any way of getting Red Eyes out like consistently. But the second one, oh, the second one gave us Red Eyes Insight and this card busted Red Eyes like overnight, my man. This card did what Red Eyes couldn't do before like consistently. Get a Red Eyes in the graveyard, add Spirit to the hand, Put spirit on the field set cards to continuously protect the red eyes on the field things counter traps and just fucking go off in one card in one card it allowed red eyes to play balance and then we had to get balance nerfed because of red eyes and so on and so forth this card was that good and to me it was the first time we saw an archetype flesh itself out and push itself into the meta rather than us playing mill or stun or control we started seeing red eyes and fire kings and i don't even remember the other meta archetypes at that around that time with naturia and stuff like that like this is when things started to take shape and this is also around the time where we had this mentality of oh this deck is way too strong please nerf and i feel like the reason why these decks were strong is because when we got red eyes insight there weren't other cards like red eyes insight for any other any other archetype so while red eyes is going through their deck and making these strong plays these strong boards other decks are just setting back row and praying that they live till next turn and i feel like that's that imbalance right there is what you see in every deck that eventually finds its way to the forbidden and limited list we look at things like cyber angels sylvans um ninjas and the uh, hitting beat uh, not beat down hitting um three star demotion tunes when they got hit three uh hit three star emotion as well uh other decks like um fur hires i believe i said for ours uh d heroes amazonas even and now spell books the reason why these decks hit the forbidden and limited list is because they make their plays that promote like that push their deck to where they're supposed to go while their opponents are just praying that they live to the next turn and i feel like that's the imbalance that Duel Links has, and it, it it annoys me to no end. It's the reason why I put uh, Box Benchwarmers out as a series on my channel is because there are so many incomplete archetypes, and because they are incomplete, they cannot compete with the most fleshed out archetypes in Duel Links. These the archetypes that find their way to the Forbidden and Limited list, they are the most fleshed out archetypes in Duel Links, and that's the reason why they make up our meta. You feel me? Vampires are still lurking around so and so, but we just got a new card within uh, one of the recent boxes, not Tornado of Phantoms. This box is not good at all. But the box before that, I believe it's like Revolution Beginning, I totally forgot the name. I'm not even going into the card shop. But it's Diamond Core of Kawaki Mero, and it's like this is a consistency booster within a card a card itself. It can stand hold as of any uh, Kawaki Mero card within the deck. So it's like running six Urnites. I remember saying this when I did my Amazonist video and I said we should get Amazonist Princess because three Amazonist Princess with three Amazonist Onslaughts in the deck is like you're running six Amazonist Onslaughts because you have three cards that will get you to Onslaught. If you guys can follow that train of thought, 
three diamond cores is like you're running six urnites. It's like you're running six maximus. It's like you're running, I don't I don't know what the ratios are for wall and sandman, but it's like you're running three extra copies of those because you can search them at whatever time that you need them. That is why Kwaki Mero is so damn strong. In addition to that, it prevents the cards from being destroyed when you banish it from the graveyard. So this card is just fucking amazing in what it does for the deck and not many other decks can actually do that can actually say that I can search a card and prevent it from its destruction there's not many decks that can do that and you know I feel like it's kind of unfair only because we know that there are cards that can boost the consistency of other decks so that they can compete alongside this we just don't have them yet and it frustrates me because it's like, hey, why can't we get something like She and Smoke Signal and actually good six samurai cards? But you know, whatever, you know, you know, whatever. Um, how about we get something like Heretic Seal of Convocation so we can actually play Heretics? How about we get something like goddamn emergency e emergency call? We keep getting these Omni heroes in these boxes, but we have no way of getting to the exact cards we need to fusion off and get these Omni heroes on the field. Come on, dog. We had the tag duel, um, the tag duel event, and Jaden, I believe, had two e emergency calls in the deck. Like, dog, are you serious? Why can't we get e emergency call? Like. You want us to play heroes, clearly, because you keep adding random heroes into boxes and random Omni heroes where they just do not belong. But you don't give us the freaking cards that we need to search out the pieces to get these things on the field. So now when we pull them in these packs, it's like, yay, I got, I got this Omni hero. Who gives a fuck? It's just going to sit in my card catalog and never see play because heroes are just not good. But maybe if we got an E-Emergency call, we can actually play heroes, you know? Like... These are things that always go through my head. Cause it's like you shape the meta by giving other archetypes good support and then shafting everything else until it feels like a good time to like rub the money in and pull those cards into the game. Like <clears throat> another, sorry about that. Another one that I want to talk about is like something like Onslaught of the Fire Kings. Like Fire Kings have slowly gotten good. And like right now they're, they got the Ubel like combo, but it's like not really that consistent. But if you got something like Onslaught of the Fire Kings dog, you don't even need the field spell to be searched from Barong. This can be searched by Barong. You play this, search Sacred, uh, Sac uh, Sacred Phoenix with Nephthys because you can special summon it off this card. Its effects are negated on the field and it's destroyed in the end phase, but it's destroyed by card effects so it comes back next turn and nukes the back row. And then you just play a, a common engine that just pop Ubel <clears throat> and you get that combo going faster now i'm not here like promoting you bell I, I actually want garunix but um you you know what i mean by this it's like why don't you just give us boost to other archetypes so we can have a plethora of decks that hit the like tier one tier two tier three so we can actually have a really good format rather than it being dictated by the one deck the one two decks that actually have their consistency cards and everybody else is just playing keep up like why can't we get something like tanky we've been getting fire formation cards and fire fist cards in decks in boxes since galactic origins to i forget where we got bear from i believe it's um uh gaia genesis or something like that we've been getting a lot of fire fist cards that just see absolutely no play and it kind of feels like bad that you draw them like i have five like, gorillas or something like that and i'm like what the hell am i gonna do with any of these they don't do anything because they're not a fleshed out deck but if we got cards like fire formation tanky and their synchros and so on and so forth that would be a decent deck to get through and plus since this card says um just search a level four lower beast warrior monster from the deck to the hand we can play this in Bujans, and Bujans can see such a boost in consistency where you have Tanky, Tanky, search Yamato, summon Yamato, end phase, grab Crane, put protection in the graveyard, and you have a consistent deck. Like, that's, that's what I'm thinking about with this. If I can have four, five, six consistent decks in the meta, I don't have to reliably just, like, think about, oh, I'm having a struggle against Kawaki Mero that I have to play something anti Kawaki Mero because that's all I'm going to freaking face. I can actually just play a deck and just adjust it a little bit to what other decks that we see in the meta and there will be a diverse meta but that's just my opinion I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below how consistent is too consistent when is it that you gotta put a card on the forbidden and limited list but also should we get boosts to other archetypes and are we ready for these boosts for the other uh, from other to other archetypes 
so that we can have a more diverse metagame. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below, but I'm going to get going. Peace.